Okay, I need to stop. Okay, so a lot has happened in a week. I just recently had a new roommate who actually moved out yesterday um, due to different reasons, but he was great. He was an international student from Korea and we really got to learn about one another's culture. And uh, before he left, he took me to a Japanese restaurant and I had real sushi for the first time. And it was very interesting for me because there, um, on the sushi, there was these um, slabs of uncooked meat. And I had never eaten raw meat before. So in my head, I'm thinking, Lord, Lord, please don't let me get a tapeworm. That's all I'm thinking. And I had to I had to say a little prayer in my head before I ate it. But I ate it, and it was good. So I had eel, and it was fantastic. It was great. I'm still alive. I'm breathing. Not sick. Well, I am sick, but it wasn't due to that. Um, and he always gave me gifts. So this is a Korean dollar. Despite it saying 1000 on it, it it's a dollar. That's what it's worth in Korea. And he also left these coins. <laughs> so I just decided to keep these as a souvenir. And yeah, I don't know how much these are worth, but it doesn't hurt to look it up. Now, I also forgot to tell y'all that the story when I got robbed from a homeless person. So I'm out at uh, Chipotle, right? And I I have to use the restroom. <laughs> so I go and use the restroom, and I don't know why this Chipotle is set up like this, but the bathroom is literally two feet away from one of the tables. So I set my backpack on the table because the bathroom happened to be so tight. I just, I didn't feel like carrying it in there. So I do my business. On the way out of me entering the bathroom, excuse me, um, a homeless guy, or I assumed him to be homeless, comes out of the bathroom in a wheelchair. And I go in and I handle my business. I'm in there for no more than two minutes. I come out, my backpack is missing from the table. So I retrace my steps. I'm like, okay, did I, did I leave it in the bathroom? Did I take it in the bathroom? I go up to the cashier, ask them, did, I, um, did they see a backpack? They all said no. So long story short, I run down the street. I run outside where there's two um, officers standing in front of the uh, Chipotle, actually. I run out there. I look both ways. And I run down to the right to the right first and I'm just like okay he couldn't have gotten far because this guy is in a wheelchair and then I decided to go all the way back past Chipotle make a left turn down turn left again and then hit another corner and I seen a guy in a wheelchair so I said to myself is this him and it happened to be him so I went up him and somebody else is eating my food from out of my backpack and in the moment, I was a little upset because I had like a whole, a whole um, burrito left, a whole burrito, and a a bag of chips and guac left. So I'm like, oh, I'm about to grub tomorrow, but absolutely not. My food was consumed by two strangers. And so anyway, long story short, I asked them continuously, where is my backpack? Where is my backpack? Being very brave in the streets of Chicago, don't do this at home. And... I, I uh, eventually, long story short, I get my backpack after going back and forth with these two individuals. And, and yeah, that's, that's the story. Long story short, don't leave your belongings around. It was my fault, but I just, I thought it was a little bit funny. And uh, I'm good. I have groceries, but at the time I was a little low on uh, funds, so I was really looking forward to eating that Chipotle. But it's all good; those people clearly needed it needed it more than me, and yeah. So happy Thursday, happy end of the week, because tomorrow's Friday, and yeah. Okay. Get her up. We get her up. Okay. Let me. Let me go.